it's kind of there with individuals though you feel me like it's kind of like you got different people got different names of what type of artist they is like katie got bands she you know known for the drill and shit in chicago still you know and, uh you got a person like me like i could I kind of stepped away from that. I didn't want to just be a drill artist. I make all type of different music. So, you know, pop, EDM. Um, and I'm glad I did that because, you know, they introduced me to different people and put me in different spots in my career to make more money and, you know, meet bigger people. Because yeah. everybody don't want to, you know, hear the same thing. Yeah. Now, you know, in today's hip hop world, it's a new wave of rappers. A lot of them, they wave the guns around in their videos, right. and, you know, you know, it's more of the savage shit with the female rappers. Um, but you're not in that category. Yeah. Really. I don't... I did that in one of my videos. It was like my first video. I just was doing some shit, young, you know. Yeah. Then it wasn't that serious. Guns wasn't that serious back then, so I had just did it. So, but now, like... That, that shit is nothing to me, you feel me? Like, I don't have to put a gun in my video, you know, like, to make it look a certain way or whatever, because ain't no gun type female, but I did just do a video of somebody, uh, and the concept was kind of, we needed some gun, guns, we was kind of like setting a nigga up, but like, other than just talking to the camera, flashing the gun and shit, like, that shit, like, it's not cute <laughs> to me, like, for me, it's not cute, like, that's not who I am. Right now, in the early stages of the Chicago scene, you had people like Dreezy, Tink, you, Katie got fans. But it's kind of like as time went by, you know, Tink got signed, Dreezy got signed, and you kind of faded off the scene a little bit. Yeah. Why? Why was that? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think that I faded away. Or if I did to people, it's because, you know, maybe... I don't know, like maybe the certain music I make or uh, I haven't, like Dreezy for example. I've been on Dreezy for a long time, like a couple of years in the music shit, you know, and I just remember, and I, I think about this sometimes, it was a time when me and Dreezy, you know, we we would just be chilling outside and we would just be wondering like, you know, she would say she's had a, you know, not, well, she ready for some shit to happen. I say I'm ready for some shit to happen. But she always been cold, though, you know, like, and it took for her to... She always made a whole bunch of raw songs, but it took for her to make that one song that just blew her up. And I, it seemed like that's with a lot of... Like, a lot of artists, it's like, you either gotta make that hit song or, you know, you gotta do shit to just keep your name buzzing and shit. I don't know though, you know, cause I still, even though a lot of people don't hear a lot about Sasha Gohard sometimes, like I still do shit. I just came from Spain, uh, got paid to go out there like, so I be making a lot of low key money, like even though I ain't, you know, making a lot of noise, but I don't know, I just feel like my time gonna come, you know. <clears throat> Now, what, two years ago you had a baby? Yep. Okay. Uh, how did that affect you? You know what? It it didn't affect me at all. <laughs> like, it didn't affect me at all. When, when I found out I was pregnant, I didn't think that it would affect me. I didn't care if it affected me. Uh, all it did was show me who was really fucking with me and who really wasn't. But after I had my baby, it actually seemed like it pushed me forward in my career because people was talking about it, you know, like a pretty young girl, pretty rapper, Sasha Gohard just had a baby or Sasha pregnant. You know, people was talking about it, so it was kind of like a good look at the same time. Like, but she, she, she kind of famous herself. <laughs> she don't even know it, like, you know, so. Did you ever get discouraged, you know? Having a baby, you can't work as hard, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to invest all your time into, into your baby. Yeah. Um, did you ever get discouraged with corruption, though? Well, I never, as far as like with my baby, I never got discouraged because my support system is real strong. Like, my sisters and, you know, like even on her, her uh, daddy said, like, you know, like my daughter is loved and people want to keep her and, you know, watch her. They don't call it babysitting because they love her so much. So, like, they, I have people to watch her if I got something to do, you know, like, 
and I ain't never really been a problem, you know, because people always been there supporting me. Now, 2012, 2013, you know, a lot of rappers are in their peak from in Chicago. Um, you're a female rapper. Did you ever have to choose sides with working with somebody? Like, did everybody, did somebody ever not want to fuck with you because you were affiliated with somebody else? Well, people never, I never heard, well, I ain't gonna say no names, but I did hear a rapper supposed to be talking shit. He big too, I ain't gonna say no names, but he, he just supposed to be talking shit like Sasha go, I mean, Sasha, ooh, I forgot what he's supposed to say, but all I remember is he, he ended it with like, wait, make them cameras off. <laughs> I guess he didn't want the shit to be recording, but I never really had to pick no sides. You feel me? Like when, I, like growing in my career, a lot of people knew me as you know being on cheap, keeping them sad. But now, like it's, I don't, I don't look at shit like that. You feel me? Like I'm an artist. Like if you fuck with me, I fuck with you. Like you know, like it ain't like uh, I can't fuck with them because they in tour because. Niggas not doing shit for me. You know, like, niggas not doing shit for me. Niggas not doing shit for my baby. Like, so why would I not fuck with certain people because they don't like this, that, or whatever. Like, I'm just, it's all about getting money and, and winning to me. Like, so that's what my man at right now. Now, Chief Keep blew up, and it kind of seems like he's not really fucking with nobody. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just isolated in that life. Um, you know, a lot of people that he gets songs with, years in the past he's not really in touch with anymore yeah how does, does that affect you any or is it just like you know that's what happens like? i look at shit like he don't owe me nothing you feel me like a lot of people is expect shit from him and me personally he don't owe me shit you know like i don't know the situation with him and ken dj ken or whatever but you know it was a time when Chief Keep blew up and DJ Ken was kind of still like, he should have been with him, I feel like, because DJ Ken was with him at the bottom. So that's, if anybody should uh been straight to, it should have been DJ Ken. But, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know if it's the money, the fame, or, I don't know. But I think about that shit sometimes. Like, when people blow real big, what? It seems like they think people want something from them, but I don't want shit from them. Like, <laughs> I don't need, I'm not, he, I salute him though. Like, he killing shit. He, he, he deserved that shit because he been working. Like, this ain't something he just got lucky and got on. Like, but, you know, I don't know. And I'm good because, you know, a lot of GT's early success came from DJ King. Yeah. He was shooting the videos or producing the records. Um, DJ K played a huge part. Yes, like, and I don't know, I saw Ken, I, I ain't seen him recently, but like last year, I saw him at the, uh, in a um, music garage. He had a little studio down there, and I'm, it, I kind of got emotional, because it's like, he should have been. Like, damn, why are you still here? Type yeah, thing? exactly, like, you know, like, I'm the type, I ain't gonna be mad at nobody, I ain't gonna, I don't expect you to give me shit. You know, we was cool and shit, but I'm a grind regardless, you feel me? But DJ Ken, though, <laughs> he definitely should have been, like, good. He should have been great, you know, but I don't know. 